So we're exploring painting tool, painting and drawing tools in After Effects. I'm going to use the paintbrush tool to create this street art stencil effect reveal. Let's have a quick look at it. So you can see there that we've got a, a graphic, uh, and apologies to HaHa. -ha. Um, we've got a graphic that um, is being revealed um, and we're kind of um, simulating a, a spray on kind of transition. Let's, uh, let's put it together. I'm going to create a new project in After Effects. Might as well just save that one. And I'm going to prepare some artwork. Uh, before we work in After Effects. Uh, over in the um, State Library of Victoria's image pool, they've got quite a lot of images of Ned Kelly. Um, let's click on the Ned Kelly collection that they have. And if I scroll down, I think it's got this quite famous picture of Ned Kelly here. Let's have a look at it. All right, I'm going to copy that and bring it over into um, Photoshop. And then after that, we'll process it in Illustrator. I'm going to create a new Photoshop document. And I'll paste that artwork in there very quickly. This is going to be very rough and ready. It is a, uh, a stencil. Um, uh, creating a quick, a couple of quick adjustments. I'm going to desaturate it and I'm going to add a levels adjustment to kind of threshold uh, the tonal range here. Something like that will be good. And I'm going to click OK. i uh, going to tidy that up a little bit more. Let's just use a paintbrush um, and I'm going to paint out all of these black areas that I don't need kind of quickly, as quickly as I can. As I said, it is a stencil, so we can be a little bit rough with it. So something like that will do quite nicely for our artwork. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to copy that, select all, copy that, and go over to Illustrator and vectorize that, in, trace that in Illustrator. We'll create a um, HD 1920 by 1080 document. And I'll paste that in the middle there. And I think the default, um, I think the default image trace options will um, be perfect for us. So we'll go image trace, make and expand. And that looks quite good. I'm going to select all this white area with the direct selection tool and select um, same fill and stroke. So we'll get all get all that white, delete all of that white so that we've just got the black. We can see that it's um, only black shapes there. And I'm going to change that color to white. And we can still see, if I show the outlines there, you can still see our artwork um, is in place. And I'll save that because that's what we're going to bring into After Effects. Call it Ned. And just before we get out of Illustrator, I'll change the layer name to Ned as well. Let's save that. Okay, so our, our artwork is good to go. Um, 
I do also want to get, I'm just going to add another tab there um, and go over to Unsplash and grab a background image. Just grab the first wall I find, um, this one here. And down, right, download a small version of that. So that should, I'm getting my downloads to go to my desktop, so that should be ready for us. Let's go over to After Effects and start working on our reveal. Um, I'm going to import that background. And I'm going to import um, the vector that we've just put together. Um, and I'm going to select not footage and not composition retain layer styles, but just composition. Okay, and that should create layers in the composition that are the composition dimensions rather than the dimensions of the actual graphic. So let's have a look at that. So you can see that when I select that, uh, that NED layer there, it's actually the size of the full composition. Um, all right, so this is looking good. And I've got a 10 second composition. If you've got a different composition length, make it around about 10 seconds. We might uh, trim that a little bit. Let's add in our background. And I'll scale that down a little bit. That's looking good. Um, let's start our, uh, our painting process. Um, and we'll use the paint brush tool from the tool palette. We'll grab that and we'll go over and we'll change the paint workspace to the paint workspace. Um, so that, I might just reset that as well. Workspace, reset paint. So that gives us our paint palette and also our, our brushes palette. Um, it also gives us two kind of windows here because when we're painting, we actually want to paint inside the, um, the, the layers, um, the layer window. So when I double click on the actual uh, asset in the layers panel, it brings up my um, layer window here, which is separate to, um, you know, my, my normal animation canvas. Um, so we're going to actually paint inside the layer window here uh, using a brush. We're going to paint using a brush. Um, so we'll set up our brush using the brushes palette. Um, if you don't have that visible, you can find that under window. Um, and brushes there. Um, I have um, grabbed a kind of a fluffy brush and I've changed its size. You can change its di diameter here. Um, you can also hold command down on the keyboard and um, uh, adjust the size there. Um, I'm going to change the um, roundness to make it kind of flat and Oops, and also I'm going to tilt it so it's kind of like the nib of a spray can. I'm going to go back up here and pick a color to paint with. Um, so I'm going to pick uh, a dark pink, something like that would be okay. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm painting the color mode of normal and my channels are going to be RGBA. And I'm going to select right on as my duration option there. And that'll record um, the painting that I do in the, uh, the layer window here. Um, moving the timeline indicator to zero, I'm going to kind of color in our graphic here. Um, starting, I don't know, wherever you want. And paint that in as if you're painting with a spray can. So if you're painting in um, a, uh, a stencil. Now, if I scrub through the timeline, you can see that that paint is 
uh, animating onto animating onto my window there, which is good. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, I did. I forgot to do one thing a second ago, um, and I'm gonna just fix that up now. I wanted to duplicate my Ned layer there, um, so I'm gonna duplicate that and delete that effect off the top of that one and hide that there. Um, so let's have a look at the paint options. You can hold P, you can hit PP to bring down uh, your paint options there. And the first option that we've got here is to paint on transparent. So I'm going to click that on and that will then hide the graphic, but just have my, um, my paint. So we'll, um, Quickly just render that. Oh, I know we don't really need to render that. Um, but to confine that to the, uh, the graphic kind of boundaries, I'm going to turn on my um, second graphic that I duplicated a second ago and add an alpha mat to that. So that'll um, kind of constrain that spray inside that graphic like so, and it'll kind of reveal it. Uh, another thing that we might do is add a multiply to the uh, to that layer, so it kind of will pick up some of the bricks in the background. Taking a little bit of time to render. Um, excellent, so that's looking good and that's our kind of stencil in place. I'll render it in a second. Um, another thing that I wanted to do was to make another duplicate of that uh, to kind of, um, I don't know, uh, visualize a bit of the off spray or the over spray of the spray can. And I'm going to uh, duplicate our Ned and maybe pop him in the background. I'll turn off the um, kind of masking options here. Um, and hitting PP, I'll pull down his paint options and I'll, um, no, I won't worry about that. I'll just, uh, I'll just drop down the opacity of that. It's kind of just like a shadow of the spray can. And let's render that. 